The Firm, India's only show on corporate law, tax and audit matters. There's a new world war being fought on our computers, phones and all the fancy gadgetry that controls manufacturing plants, information highways and government systems. Companies, consumers, governments, we are all warriors in the war against cyber crime. Hello and welcome to the firm. Last year, US corporations lost $400 billion dollars to cyber attacks. The numbers are mind-boggling, the vulnerabilities terrifying and the consequences often unimaginable. So this week the firm talks to security experts, hackers, chief information officers and lawyers to find out if India Inc. is prepared to fight this new battle. Sony, eBay, Target, Home Depot, JP Morgan, Neyman Marcus, Yahoo Mail, AT&T, UPS and Google, they're all victims of cyber attacks. And that's just in 2014. The Washington Post says that in 2013, federal agents notified 3,000 US companies that their computer systems had been hacked. Information technology and security experts say everything is at risk. Financial data, customer data, intellectual property and often the attackers are insiders. We've seen details of credit cards being stolen, we've seen uh, uh, user information getting stolen, we've seen usernames and passwords getting stolen. Uh, we've seen various different cases uh, that have been happening across the globe in various different areas. Not just, these are not just consumer facing but even within the corporates, within the organizations we've seen cases where because of uh, you know, hacker intrusions uh, we've seen some very valuable uh, critical, mission critical kind of information getting leaked out into the public or going into the hands of the competition and so on and so forth. We saw 300 million variants of malware uh, written last year which basically means that around a million per day uh, this is a large number of malwares which the attackers are using to exploit into the uh, network and the infrastructure of businesses. The type of attacks, the, the type of issues, uh, you know, like probably there is a similarity to, to a virus or a pandemic that, uh, you know, when it explodes, when, you know, it impacts everyone. It's a constantly mutating virus. Sire Hidayatullah is an ethical hacker and helps companies protect themselves. He says that from widespread phishing attacks or emails that fool people into parting with their private data, hackers have now moved on to more targeted attacks. If you see there is no mandatory reporting, means lesser uh, crimes are reported and the indices which are uh, you know projected to, uh, from surveys or research may not give the real picture because the, the, the current threats may be even far more than what they are being projected. And uh, because there is less uh, reporting, there is less investigation, there is less uh, tracking of offenses and as a result less prosecution and convictions. Karnika Seth is a well-known lawyer specializing in cybercrime matters. She has also advised the government on matters of cyber security. Karnika says that India is woefully under-equipped. Well, uh, our, our current IT system and the IT law uh, and the legal framework, the machinery or the infrastructure, even the manpower which handles this kind of investigations is certainly uh, way behind what we, we should be now because I feel the awareness levels are very low and uh, because of that, uh, the cyber criminals find it as a haven. In the year 2000, the Indian Parliament passed its first cyber law, the Information Technology Act. Section 66 of the Act makes hacking illegal. Section 43A provides for compensation to victims of data breach. And Section 72A imposes criminal liability on a person who discloses confidential information. Every uh, customer's uh, you know, personal information taken should be protected to, to an extent which, which ensures reasonable security practices have been adopted by that corporation or a company. And uh, how many co corporations really, really follow this is what uh, is no cybercrime convention. So 
whether they cross border crimes could be easily investigated because mlat system which we currently follow the mutual legal assistance treaty system with certain countries is also very slow and many times when we look for information from the other uh, authority in the other country it could take 6 months or even one year well as is evident we are struggling to keep up it's not just the legal and enforcement architecture or better laws to protect customer data cyber crime is forcing companies everywhere to rework security and governance systems is that conversation happening in indian boardrooms the awareness over last few years if you look and look at india inc in general and government it's increased tremendously and that has happened also because of the kind of attacks that we are seeing and actually you know the Uh, your digital property is becoming the face for most of the companies and if that gets attacked it is both not only a reputation risk it could actually uh, you know risk uh, release of sensitive data outside so everyone is taking taking it extremely seriously over last two years especially i have seen that become as an important part of their strategy and where i started last year us corporations lost 400 billion dollars to cyber crime india inc beware Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next week. The firm, India's only show on corporate law, tax, and audit matters.